Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Rolfson. I'm part of the medical consulting team at Diagnostic Solutions Lab. I want to talk to you about a question I got from a practitioner today. I was going over a GI map with a practitioner and they said, why is the H. pylori not flagged when it's clearly out of range? And here you see the H. pylori at 4.5 E2. I would say it's simple. You're actually looking at the wrong numbers and it is in range. If it's out of range, it will always be flagged. So what you need to know when you're starting out with GI map is that the numbers for the organisms are presented in scientific notation. You'll see a number, usually with a decimal point, an E, and then another number. The number I want you to focus on is the number to the right of the E. That is going to be the exponent. So if you look at page one on the pathogen page, you'll see the simplest reference ranges, and that's where we can start learning scientific notation. So looking at Campylobacter, for example, the reference range is less than 1.00 E3 which is the same as one times 10 to the power of three, or one with three zeros after it, which is the same as a thousand. Scrolling down the page, you see Salmonella, which has a reference range of less than 1.00 E4, or the same as 10 to the power of four, one with four zeros after it, or 10,000, and so on and so forth. So for reference points, we've got at E6, a million, E9, a billion, E12, a trillion, and that's about as far as you need to go. As, as far as you'll see on GI map is E13, which is tens of trillions. So what you want to know starting out with GI map first, always focus on the number to the right of the E. That will give you the exponent, which is by far the more important number here. When you get more comfortable, if you see values for your patient that are in the same order of magnitude or the same number to the right of the E as the reference range, that's when you might want to look at the multiplier, the number to the left of the E to see how far out of range it is. Now, when you're looking at your patient's test, always review the exponents in your patient's value and compare them to the reference ranges. And that will tell you how far out of reference range, how many orders of magnitude your patient's value is. So each number that increases to the right of the E, your patient's sample is increasing by 10 times. So going back to the pathogen page that we looked at, you will see that Campylobacter the patient's sample was at the E7 level. Now the reference range, as we reviewed, is at the E3 level. So that is four orders of magnitude out of reference range, which you'll find a lot more significant than maybe 10 times the reference range at an E4 versus an E3. So it is really important to look at these exponents, and it can also help you understand why something looks like it's out of range, but isn't flagged. It's not intuitive looking at a test and thinking about scientific notation, but it takes a little bit of practice. I promise it is simpler than putting all those zeros at the end of the number.